Hello, Kit Heads. Welcome back. We are Talking Kit, the home of the greatest football kit content in the entire world. And we are back for another amazing episode of Desert Island Kits. I am, of course, Double A, and I'm with another amazing person, one of my favourite people from the kit community, and I'll introduce him very, very soon. But before we do that, if it is your first time Talking Kit, or maybe if it isn't, be sure to smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, I don't want to beg, but come on, subscribe to the channel. You know you want to. We want to be the best. We want to be the biggest. So we need your help to do that. And smash the bell notification as well. We are dropping content every Monday and every Wednesday. But you need to make sure you're not missing it because it's, like I say, the greatest in the whole entire world. So we want you to become a kit head, become part of the community. And yeah, we want you here for the long haul. So yeah, let's get into this week's episode. We've grabbed another person from the kit community and force them to whittle down their shirt to five that they would take with them if they were to be stranded on a desert island. Totally unique idea. No one's ever thought of this before, obviously. But yeah, I've got one of our favourite people from the shirt community. He's on the channel a lot now, which I really love them familiar faces. Uh, really value his opinions. And the shirt, as you can probably see, the shirts he has is, of course, Andy, a.k.a. Jackson's jerseys. Hi, pal. You okay? Yeah, all good. Yeah, looking forward to this. Now oh. I've finally managed to pick five. You think it's easy. You think, oh, yeah, these shirts, I've got these ones. These are my favourites. But then you start looking through and you're like, oh, actually, that one there. I really like that one and that one and that one. <laughs> and trying to, pick, trying to pick five out, it's, it's a nightmare. So if we go into your collection as a whole, then what's your sort of body count? What's your magic number that you've, you've got at the moment? The last count, which I did last week... I got up to 175, which was more than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's always doing. That's always that's doing. A lot of purchasing over the past um, year and a half or so. 175 is a is a really good number. When did you start collecting? When did it really kick in for you? When I first started collecting, it was probably the tail end of 2019. I've always had an interest in shirts. Yeah. And at the end of every season, when the new se- new shirts were being released. Me and my brother, we'd both chat about them, look at them, say, oh, that's rubbish, that's good, etc. Yeah. But we never, never actually bought any or collected them. Yeah. And then um, I started using Twitter regular and I found there's, there's other people talking about them. Yeah. So you start following them and then you find yourself part of the community. And then I was on YouTube and found a couple of channels on there, and it just snowballs from there. And before you know it, you're spending your time right. calling for eBay. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Uh, okay, then. So let's get into not your five shirts just yet, but any shirts that may have just missed out. Any any sort of honourable mentions you, you feel like you should. Shine a light on for us. This is very close. A shirt won the yeah. FA Cup in 2008. Yeah, oh, of course, yeah. This is great. We, we, were Can- we were with Canterbury for a couple of seasons. Yeah. And I think there wasn't there wasn't many clubs that I could think of that had Canterbury. And I think it no, was us. Um, I think Deportivo had this same design. Yeah, this, this one and the one that I picked was really neck and neck. Okay. Okay. So that was, that was one. That, that was one that just missed out. And another one, England 86. Yeah. <laughs> it's, okay. it's, a, it's a great shirt. It's a great, it's a great yeah. shirt. Um, I picked this up in 2000, late 2000s from um, Toffs. Oh, okay. And n- normally we go to Toffs, they get a lot of remake shirts, etc. Yeah. But yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is pretty spot on. It's a really, really good, um, good replica. Two decent shirts, mate, that just missed out. I mean, yeah, could be on anyone's list there. So we'll kick it off. Let's get into shirt number five then. What's the first shirt you're taking on this desert island, mate? Okay, this is this is one, because I picked the four shirts, which were eventually, but it was okay. Yeah. One, I went down a slightly different route. It's not, it may not be um, a grail shirt or yeah. the most expensive shirt or that kind of thing. Yeah. But a certain shirt that's a lot more unique and rare that I have. Queen City Football Club, okay. American from American team, and I wrote, I wrote this to hell actually. So they are <laughs> a town and county Sunday indoor league men's open division five v five. How did you in, come across that? Where where did you come across that then? They're playing uh, from Cincinnati in Ohio, and this is the, the biggest benefit of being within the kit community. 
because yeah. I would never have had any contact with this club. No, no. I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I've got an interest in like the US lower league clubs. Yeah. Um, like, the MLS, they're all like Adidas and they're all very, very samey. But if you go yeah. into the lower leagues, you can get some amazing designs. And I came across their page on Twitter and I followed them. They followed me. They sent me a message and they were saying, would there be any interest? Like if we were like, making a shirt, would there be any interest? Yeah. I said, absolutely, the word. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's still true, but I was the only person in the UK to have this. Oh, really, mate? That's yeah. that's it's that, It was that more exclusive and rare. Yeah. Was too many, and this was their first kit. It's uh, a couple of years ago. They like the crest in there. Oh yeah, mate. That's mate. That's a, a stunning shirt. Oh. That that sort of Harley Quinn sort of pattern on on the cuffs there. That is really yeah. really nice. Really nice shirt, and I, I agree with you, mate. Those lower league uh, American teams, you know, you think of um, Oakland Roots and obviously Forward Madison. Yeah. Really, really two clubs that are really pushing envelope for for out, out there designs. I mean, the fact sort of Oakland Roots are bringing Maber back, you know, one of the clubs that have got Maber is it, really great for for us as, as shirt collectors because you know you hark back to the eighties, the Barcelona Maber and stuff like that are, are ones we all want, but that is. A great shirt to have in your collection for sure, mate. Yeah, yeah, it's um, yeah, it's it's just one of those shirts that just jumped out as well when I saw the, when I saw the design, it's all sublimated on there, and it just yeah. neat and neat kind of schemes. It just it just jumps out. It's just just a great looking shirt. Okay, mate, great first pick there for number five on your list. What is the fourth shirt then, or number four on your list that you would take to this desert island? Okay, this is the one that just beat the other Pompey shirt. This is the from the season after. So yeah. This is um, as our the, se- the shirt we wore in Europe. I picked this up at the end of the season. So this is the um, elite. The what, we do a player version. I don't know yeah. what you say. So I picked yeah. it up in the, end of the season sales. I think I paid like twenty quid for it. Wow. And um, yeah. as as brilliant as the FA Cup win, obviously was. Yeah. That season after in Europe, we had AC Milan coming down to Fratton. Mate. And we two new up against them. And the poor Rainer Fratton, <laughs> or one of them, they popped up with a with a free kick, and then they they fluked the last last gasp for equaliser. Yeah, but um, the atmosphere for that game, honestly, if I tell anyone, go go on YouTube, find the highlights, watch highlights, and listen to that atmosphere. So yeah. That was like the high the high point after the FA Cup. Another great shirt to be in in your list. What's your shirt number three then? West Germany, uh, 86. Oh, the way, uh, won the war in the World Cup in 86. Long sleeves, with the collars and cuffs with the with the German flag, which I think was the first time they had any colours on the German shirts. Yeah. I, mean, I think it was just white and white and black. Long, the, the three the three stripes all the way down the sleeves, which you don't see it very often now because they no. have spaces for the patches. patches. So to have them, you see them all unbroken, especially mm-hmm. through the 80s. Really made Adidas shirts real stand out. You know, you think of them eighties, nineties Germany shirts really stood out, and and some of the best football I've ever seen. And you know, the little details of the flag being in, in the the collar and cuffs really add some. Was it an easy one to put in in your five? Um, it was. Um, I put a picture of this on uh, Insta uh, when I when I got it, and I tagged um, Andy Bramer in yeah. there. He just done his stories, and he was he was putting up pictures of him playing in this kit. So I actually yeah. sent him a message saying I've just I've just got this shirt blown up, and he replied, and we had a couple of little or little back and forth, and then um, a couple of days later, he's stolen my picture, and he's put that onto <laughs> his own stories. <laughs> so I, I mean, had my content, my content stolen by a World Cup winning <laughs> legend. Didn't he ghost you as well after that? And then he ghosted me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Mate, it's a so story. That, I had to go in. I had to go into the island. I was ghosted by Andy Bremer. I mean, what's well, the story to tell? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mate, another stunning pick. I mean, 80s, 90s is Germany. I know there's a few in the background there, more Germany that, that you've got. Any of them any of them could easily have been in that list, but that 86 is definitely a, a beautiful, beautiful shirt, mate, for sure. Moving on then to... Number two in your list of the five. Okay, this is Portsmouth, nineteen eighty-five to eighty-seven. Is actually the first shirt I ever worn. Not oh, this okay. one, but it's no, a lot smaller <laughs> version, which got lost over time. 
yeah. and trying to refine that just been impossible. I only, I only ever saw it once for sale. I think is is I, I think it's on CFS for like three hundred. Yeah, and, and it and it wasn't and everything is a it was a size small and uh -huh. you know, trying to find this absolute nightmare. But a friend of mine, Pompey Shirts, he sent me a message. He seen he found it on Depop and he negotiated a price for me as well. Oh, <laughs> what a legend! So yeah, <laughs> and. So I managed finally managed to pick this up. Yeah, it's the, most, it's the most I've spent on a shirt, and I can't see me spending any more. <laughs> but um, this is the season we we wore this when we got promoted to Division One. Yeah, the last shirt we had before we had sponsors. I don't know how well you can see that, just the detail within the. Yeah, I was going, I was going to ask it. So the and the darker blue, it's Umbro, and on the lighter blue, it's PFC. It says that, yeah. mate. Un unbelievable it's just like Ambro were doing in the 80s it's a similar it looks very similar to the England one you've shown that just missed out you know that yeah yeah, yeah. Same, same time period it's you know very very similar to it and yeah 80s Umbro again just 80s shirts in general the, the materials the look the they, they always they always shine they always look sparkling in, in, in a nice way sort of thing they, really beautiful and the, the two, I love those two tone stripes in a Pompey shirt I think it's something Actually, I'd love to go back to this sort of style. Originally. Yeah, it'd be good. It'd be good for you to go to a Hummel or back to Umbro or, you know, a, a, a Macron or someone that's going to yeah, Macron would, would, would really signify and do something special for for Pompey and those two tone stripes are stunning, stunning, mate. And the players you think of when you see this shirt, can you name a couple? I, I really think Valen Ball with this one, the legend when he, when he was in with this. Yeah, great, great guy, great player, and. To add to it, a great shirt, mate. I love that Pompey badge as well. I've never seen that badge of yours. That's yeah, 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 the badge you had in the eighties. Just representing obviously uh, the, the naval roots. What a shirt to have! What a shirt to have. That's number two. I'm really excited to see what your number one shirt is. So yeah, tell us, show us what is the number one shirt you would take on a desert island with you, mate. Can only be, of course, West Germany eighty-eight I mean, to ninety-two. Look at that. Yeah. What. What a shirt. And I mean, if you had to pick 10 shirts that signify football shirts, for instance, E.T. comes down from his base and he says to you, listen, apart from the M&Ms, I want some football shirts. You need to show, need to show me 10 football shirts that that mean or that mean the most or to represent what football shirts are. This would have, this would have to be in the 10. I, I'm sure you'd agree with that. Absolutely. I was I was ten years old, Italian ninety. That was my tournament. Yeah, I think I watched yeah. pretty much every every game. Yeah, cried in the semis when 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 England lost. <laughs> but this shirt just it, it's it's just it's iconic. Screams it's, nostalgia, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. I mean, the template we've seen it many times since, and on other shirts and variations. Yeah. But it just works so well on here, just because it is the German flag. It's not just the colours, but it's, no. it is the. Like, I agree, and it's almost a crime that people uh, Leicester. Why have Leicester got that pattern on the shirt? That really, yeah, yeah. I don't, don't I, no, nothing against Leicester, but Adidas using that template on a on a Leicester shirt was for me a crime. It, it, you know, kit crimes holler at me because yeah. that should be just left for for Germany. That is there. You know, they did it in two thousand eighteen. Yeah. Missed the trick by not having the colours again for me. I think they should have done that. Yeah, but, I mean, they did it on the on the women's shirt, the women's yeah. version. Which had yeah. the modernised like pattern, but in the colours. Yeah, which was good. I mean, this was actually a birthday present June 2020. When uh, that nightmare year, a group of my friends they sent me a, they sent me a shirt. They didn't realise what it was. Oh, really? it was, it was, it was I didn't realise the significance of the of the shirt. It was for my 40th birthday. Everyone's in lockdown. Yeah. All, that kind of we, all of our events, everything got cancelled, and they sent me a, yeah. they sent me a shirt. They've said since. They thought back to what sort of shirts would be relevant back then. Yeah, and they landed and they landed on this one. I don't know if if you'll be able to see, but there was a number nine on here as well. Ah, oh, yeah. Which um, I would like to get redone. Number nine, Rudy Rudy Voller would have been number yeah. nine. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, mate. I, I, yeah, again, Germany Grail shirt for a lot of people. The most famous yeah. German shirt of all time, World Cup winning shirt. That's, has to go down as probably I'd say the best German shirt of all time, and I'm, yeah, I'm glad it's in your list, mate. It's 
It's one I thought, you know, knowing that you, you like your Germany shirts, it's one I thought would definitely make an appearance. And glad it's there. Uh, glad it's top of the power for you, mate. Yeah, so if yeah. if they were all washing away, and something's happened, they're all washing away in the water, you can only grab one to save. Which one is it that you, you're keeping out of those five? Yeah, the first one you want. It has to be. Yeah, it has to be yeah. this one. Thank you so much for spending a bit of time with us. It's It's been a pleasure, oh, mate. I'll do another no. one with, uh, with my template shirts. Okay. Yes, please. Yes, please. Let's do that. Let's do that for sure. So thank you again, for, for Andy, for joining us. Thank you for watching. It's been another amazing episode of Desert Island Kits. We'll be back very, very soon with another legend from the kit community showcasing five of their shirts that they would take to a desert island. If it is your first time talking kit, or maybe if it isn't, be sure smash a like on the video, share it with your kit loving friends as well. Why not? And also, while you're here, become a kit head, part of the community, and subscribe to the channel. We can only get bigger by your love and affection. So, yeah, make sure you do that. We'll be back, like I say, very, very soon with more content, full kit rankers, as well as Desert Island kits. But whatever you do, as always, just please make sure that you keep talking kit.